What's going on everyone, thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one I was going to bring some more awareness of the interloper that dwells at the bottom of the Lucky Hole Mine for players who may not know about it. I'm also going to be experimenting around with the creature as well to see if we can possibly trigger something interesting. It does seem like the interloper is alive but in a deep slumber or something because you can sometimes actually see the tentacles on the creature move. Pretty creepy. Now I've already tried nuking the Lucky Hole Mine to see if that would wake the creature up, but sadly it didn't. I mean heck, it was worth a try though, because you never know until you give it a shot. By the way, on that note, in case you don't know, I do have a nuking experiment series in Fallout 76 where we target multiple different locations to find out if something interesting happens, or if it's worth targeting in the game or not. I'll have a link in the description to the series if you are interested. We experimented around with over 50 different locations so far in it. Anyways, I guess to start this off, I should show you all this holotape that's at Point Pleasant. This actually explains about the creature that dwells in Lucky Hole Mine. That's how we know it goes by the interloper. This holotape can be kind of tricky to find, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the exact route to find it if you want to come and check it out for yourself in game. It's inside a room, but the tricky part is you have to enter from the roof to get into it. I mean, I could probably technically just jump up to the roof since I have marsupial, but I'm going to take the regular route so players that don't have that mutation can know how to get up to this as well. Oh, and by the way, I guess while I'm heading over to this, I should probably mention in my previous video over experimenting with the Wise Mothman, I mentioned if the video surpasses 2,000 likes that I'll be giving a tour over the new place that I'm going to be moving into. And it did surpass that like goal, so I highly appreciate that, and I'm just letting you know that I will be be giving the tour in about two weeks from now. I'm still currently trying to move everything and I did mention I was going to do a before and after inside to show you like my setup and whatnot. Once again, highly appreciate all the support that you all left on that video. Honestly, it'd be cool if we can get this one as well to surpass 2,000 likes because then this will get more passed around the Fallout 76 community and then even more players will know about this interloper. But who knows? I mean, I guess we'll see if it happens or not. But yeah, as you see, this is the roof to the entrance of Jeff Lane's room, which is the guy who's talking in this interloper holotape. Oh, and by the way, I did make a little cinematic over this holotape to help get the point across over what's said in this. As you can see, it's right here on the dresser. Check this out. There are other things in this world now that cannot be explained. The end of the world has awoken something. We all know the Mothman is out there, stalking and watching us. But what of the unseen? There are things we can only glimpse in our minds. Great entities beyond our comprehension. The Mothman is a creature more like us than the unknowable horrors in the peripheral vision of our subconscious minds. No longer just a false memory now. I have heard a tale of this entity made real, deep in the earth. And the storyteller was mad by any reckoning, but his story, no less true. My name is Jeff Lane, and I will lay bare this watcher. No matter how deep I must go, I will come to know the true nature of the interloper. Okay, so that was one holotape that you can find over the interloper. And as you heard, Jeff Lane was going to go out to find this creature so he can study it. So he trekked all the way down here to the Lucky Hole Mine. As you can see, this is where it's located at. It's right by Fort Defiance in the monorail elevator. As you can see, this is the entrance inside of it. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on in. Once in here, this next holotape that you can find by Jeff Lane over the interloper is located right up here. It looks as if he was camping out here. As you can see, it's called The Chosen. The interloper is here. I can feel it clearly. Last night, in visions more real than the senses, it called to me, and I go to it now. Signs are all around that I am not the only one to hear the call. Though where they have failed, I will not, for it summons me alone in the end. Before I go deeper, for the truth revealed changes all. By its very nature, let it be known, in this world, the interloper has chosen Jeff Lane as the conduit of the unknowable. Together, the hidden reality becomes manifest at long last. Okay, so now since you know a little bit more of the backstory over the interloper and Jeff Lane, 
I'm going to now show you exactly where this creature dwells at in the Lucky Hole Mine. And like I mentioned before, I'm also going to be experimenting around with the creature as well. I'm going to be trying to use some different syringes on it, and I'll get more into why I'm going to be doing that here in a bit when we get down near it. Also, I am taking the long route down to this creature just in case some of you may not have the lock picking skill nor the Lucky Hole Mine key. Because I can completely understand getting lost, especially when I was first exploring around down in this place. Just want to make sure everyone that's watching this can actually go down here and check out the interloper for yourself. Because I know there's a lot of new players, or just a lot of players in general, that don't even know about this beast. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and skip all these enemies, and just try to get there as fast as possible, taking the long way. But uh, actually, we're getting kind of near it. As you can see, when you enter this room right here... That looks like some kind of worshiping was going on down here. You just want to simply head through this tunnel right here, right next to the staircase. And this is actually where it gets pretty tricky and it's easy, super easy to pass up. As you can see, I have already passed it up. In case you didn't realize there, there's a secret entrance right here hidden behind this bush. Really, really hidden. And this leads back to where I believe Jeff Lane was studying this creature at. Because back here, it seems as if it's a science room. Like someone was back here experimenting around and possibly studying the interloper. I mean, check this place out. I believe this is where Jeff Lane went to when he came down here. Because this is literally right by the beast. I'm not exactly sure if we're ever gonna get to encounter Jeff Lane because I don't exactly know if he died or not. There's a chance he could still be living. So a few things I wanna point out in here. First of all, starting with the unique outfit that you can find in this place. As you can see, there's a ritual mask typically on top of this hardware here. And you can find ritual bindings inside this container, right beside this table. Also, like I mentioned before, it seems like someone might have been testing or doing some kind of experiments here. Because for one, you can find all kinds of different science utensils around in this area. Also, on this chalkboard here, as you can see, it says syringe plus buff out equals fun question mark now there are a few possibilities i can think of one being well the most straightforward here in front of our eyes syringe plus a buff out equals fun it's a good time this also could not be saying fun whatsoever it could possibly stand for elements from the periodic table and it would make sense for example f stands for fluorine u for uranium and n for nitrogen these elements are used to figure out how old bones are. This technical term is called dating. As you can see here, older bones have more fluorine and uranium and less nitrogen. So it's a high probability that Jeff Lane or whoever was doing these studies was trying to figure out how old the interloper is. Who knows how long this creature has been this deep underground beneath us. But either way, I'm not 100% sure on what this is signifying. Nor am I sure what this syringe plus buff out means. But I am going to be trying to experiment on this creature by using Rose's Syringer. I'm hoping something interesting happens, because in case you don't know, this unique Syringer that you get from Rose temporarily buffs the enemy first. So technically, this does fire a buff out syringe. Some of you that haven't experienced this weapon might be thinking it's a little odd, like, why would you want to use that? It buffs the enemies. But that's just half of what it does. It first buffs the enemies for 60 seconds, and then it makes the enemy really weak for 60 seconds. Believe it or not, it's pretty useful against the Scorch Beast Queen. All right, so I guess let's go ahead and get into this now. Let's see what happens when we shoot the Interloper with Rose's Syringer. Which, by the way, the creature dwells behind this bush right here. It is very, very concealed. As you can see, I'll go ahead and uh, go out of it now. We passed it up coming into this science area. Once again, it's right through this. And then we just follow this tunnel system all the way down to it. I am really curious on if it's actually gonna wake up or something when I shoot it with Rose's Syringer with the temporary buff. That would be insane. Here goes nothing. Really? Nothing? I don't get it. What is that chalkboard out there signifying? Why is this creature down here? Like, is this thing going to be involved with absolutely nothing? Or eventually are we going to be able to wake this beast up somehow? I'm really interested in this. 
I'm definitely going to be checking this place out in the Wastelanders DLC. Also, I don't know if you all noticed this, though, but there's a bunch of heads down here in this area, too. And these were actually in other Fallout games deep in the ground as well. Such as in Fallout 4 at Dunwich Borers. There was a cult that would do rituals above a mysterious statue head that looked very similar to what we've seen at the Interloper area. Now, whether or not we'll know more about these in the future is currently unknown. Also, there's another one in Fallout 76. It's over at Tanagra Town. Very weird. I have a feeling all this ties in with this creature here. What if this is going to be some kind of new boss fight in the future? That'd be insane. Like somehow this thing wakes up and comes crawling out of here. Oh my gosh. If only. You know what? I'm going to keep things simple actually. There's some buff out that you can sometimes find in that experimenting area. I'm going to go ahead and try another idea here. Let's try this. I'm going to use a buff out. And then here's a regular old syringer. Let's see if this does anything. Let's see if maybe the interloper says something special. Nothing. I mean, it'd be cool if it just said something, you know? I guess it didn't hurt to try this out, because now we know. We wouldn't have ever known if we didn't attempt this, so. I guess this is a start, and also it's bringing more awareness over this to the community, just by simply making this video. Which feels good. Getting more of the community involved with this, maybe eventually we could crack this mystery in the game. Or this could be just something that we're going to, oh my gosh, the, the freaking tentacles move. That we're going to experience once again in the Wastelanders DLC. Just looks like a bunch of people came here and just committed suicide too. Or something. There's a sickle, a bunch of small glass jars on the ground. And some of these people that killed themselves here seem a little fresh kind of because the meat's still in their bones. Okay, so I'm going to attempt one more thing on this. I'm actually going to try the box syringer. Maybe that will actually get it to speak. So I guess I'll be right back. I'm going to have to go get that syringer from the quest line. All right, I am back with the box syringer. In case you don't know what this does, it's supposed to make the target speak. So let's see if the interloper will speak to us. Jeff Lane did mention that it was calling him. Like, it was telepathically speaking to him through his thoughts. Which is pretty interesting, so... Here goes nothing. Ah, dang it! This took me forever to put together. Oh, what the... <laughs> I got the Bloatfly Syringer as well on me. In case you don't know what this does, if you shoot an enemy and then you kill that enemy, it'll actually spawn into a Bloatfly. This is a pretty interesting Syringer. I know this isn't gonna do nothing. But, uh, I, I guess that's about wrapping up this video. I mean, hey, it was worth a shot. Like, we now know officially nothing happens, and we have now brought more attention to this scenario. So who knows, maybe this mystery will be solved faster, or we just simply can't solve it right now, and there's nothing to do with this creature besides just look how massive and scary this thing looks. But hopefully in the future it'd be so cool if we actually got to fight this thing, or just, heck, even interact with it. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Hopefully you found this video enjoyable. If you did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. Greatly appreciated. Until next time, though, everyone. Peace.